feel, feel fortunate that, that we were able to get out of there with the win, uh, give IUPUI a lot of credit. You know, their offense I knew going into the game, thought there were some similarities to, you know, Winthrop, who we had played in here uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and they were really good offensively on film, even better in person. Thought they did a great job of moving the ball. Thought O'Leary was just terrific. I really enjoy watching him on film. He he really plays the right way. He's really skilled and um, posed some mismatch problems for us. Thought their guards were a load. You know, so give them a lot of credit. You know, and the way they responded after being down 10 uh, at 17:32, you know, says a lot. I think about their kids. Um, you know, having said that, certainly give them a lot of respect. We made too many mistakes defensively. Did not have the same edge that we had on Saturday. I just didn't think that we were able to, to capture that at any point in time on the defensive end of the floor. I thought our mental energy was not great. Thought we made too many mistakes. Thought we played like we practiced a bit, uh, which was great for our guys to learn that lesson because I thought we had practiced well last week and, and consequently played well. Certainly not always true in my coaching career. Every once in a while you have an outlier. Uh, but the bulk of the time it is true. You know, practice makes permanent. Um, you know, my old high school coach used to say perfect practice makes perfect. We just, you know, if you're going to be perfect, but I just didn't think we had it yesterday. And, um, and quite honestly, probably played a little bit like we did in practice. Um, but I'm going to give our guys credit at the same time. You know, the plays that the upperclassmen made late in the game when things were not going our way and we're behind at the under eight from Hill making shots, tough shots. Uh, to Morgan's shot block, to Thorne's and one, including the made free throw, to Black's rebounding, to Tate's steal, to Abram's steadiness in the second half with, you know, the bulk of his six assists. And, uh, and offensively, I thought we were pretty good. You know, we, we executed pretty well, other than some sloppy turnovers. You know, we, got, we just got to clean, got to clean that up, you know. But I'll give our guys credit. They stepped up. You know, sometimes you have those games where, you know, you get in a game like this and, you know, when things aren't going your way, you don't have guys step up like that the last eight minutes and make plays and find a way to win. And so I'll give them credit. Um, we're going to have a heck of a film session on Thursday after the day off. There was enough mistakes made today where we could probably watch the whole thing from start to finish, although we won't do that uh, to them. They got finals and different things going on. But we'll certainly clip it up, see what the main things are that we need to get a handle on, especially at the defensive end, because Saturday, you know, we got Central coming in here eight and two, and this, this, you know, these two guards at five foot nine are absolute monsters. One of them had 40 tonight. The other one had 30 uh, in their win over Wisconsin Green Bay. Um, they are an absolute load. So, you know, we'll have to play better. Um, getting ready for this one on Saturday against Central. Questions? John, the other night you said. Um, Somebody asked you a question about Tracy, and you said, Tracy makes you feel better. How's Malcolm make you feel? Well, at the end of this one tonight, I mean, I thought he was just terrific tough. I mean, he really wanted the ball. He made plays. He was aggressive. He attacked, and he just made big-time shots, you know. And I thought he was one of the guys, even early, that whose energy level was pretty good on the defensive end, too, and, was, and did not make very many mistakes. I thought he – you know, really willed his way through. He's played a lot of minutes. You know, we've went six or seven days in a row now with the day off coming tomorrow, including a trip to Miami, and he's been pretty consistent with his approach mentally and his physical disposition and effort's been pretty good. I probably should have got him a couple more blows tonight, but we felt like we needed him out there, you know, 37 minutes demanding him to run, offensive rebound, guard, <laughs> you know, score, make the right play. You know, I thought he really gave our team a, a huge lift. And back to the defense, um, specifically what are your main concerns? And, and answer one question for me. Sometimes in help defense, it seems like we come so far off the weak side that when the ball is turned over there, our guy is running at the guy and they, they just go right around us. Yeah, I think that there's I... that 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 and a number of other things were problems tonight. You know, we just we weren't very good. We fouled jump shooters. Um, you know, I thought our communication on pick and roll defense was poor. Um, I thought in those situations you're talking about, which are long closeouts, thought we did a poor job. Thought our positioning wasn't great. Thought we got too spread out. We just we we didn't we didn't execute very well on that end of the floor. 
Um, and it really starts with, you know, when you have five 50-50 balls in the first half and one of them's a jump ball and they get the other four, that should tell you something. You know, uh, seven offensive rebounds for our crew in that game, not good enough. You know, we just uh, give them credit. I thought for the bulk of the game they were, you know, more physical. Uh, I thought they their effort level was – an energy level was higher. But, again, our guys stepped up and made some plays late and found a way to win the game. Coach, there was that uh, possession down the stretch uh, where they got several offensive rebounds and several wide open looks for three. They, they missed missed them all, of course. You know, that's happened a few times this year. How concerning is it that the late in games when you need to get a stop, you need to get a rebound? It, it's At least the rebounding part didn't happen. Well, you answered it. It is concerning. You know, the zone worked well on that possession. We got them to take a longer shot. They didn't penetrate the paint. We, you know, did a good job, challenged it, and then our zone rebounding was – terrible on that possession obviously and then once you don't get the first one it really has nothing to do with technique at that point it becomes like volleyball ball gets started batting around and you got to try to come up with it and and um, obviously they did there two or three times and we were very very fortunate when on that possession John is Laurent's obviously picked up his role. Um, Michael Finke it seems to be struggling a little bit. What, what are you seeing out of him? Is it he struggled confidence? tonight he wasn't uh, wasn't great tonight he knows that he'll be better In the back, Tyler, in the back of the room. Playing off that, um, Michael didn't play well. DJ Williams got some early minutes. Did you like what you saw to DJ tonight? I thought he was the most productive guy off the bench in the first half in terms of making the fewest mistakes defensively. And then obviously he made a couple baskets. So he got rewarded in the second half with um, you know an opportunity to impact the game a little bit more. And I, I thought he was maybe solid and then some, which was great, which is a good step in the right direction. Hopefully he can build on it. Coach, how would you evaluate your bench as a whole? Seems like you need a little bit more there. Yeah, I just didn't think it was very good tonight, as I said there uh, with that question there. I thought Williams, I thought Williams was good, uh, but those other guys didn't play up to their potential tonight coming off the bench. Uh, now Tate got going a little bit in the second half within his role and did a good job and had a big steal late and you know did some nice things for us and steadied us. Uh, but even his first couple stints, or first one was just okay by his standards, not just mine, his. You know, um, they were just okay. You're exactly right, Derek. We need, we, we've had better production from them to this point. And uh, tonight they, they just they, they weren't they weren't as good as we need them to be, but I'm confident that they can be moving forward. Scott here. Hey Malcolm, obviously you know, delivered, but when the offense is at least in the second half was kind of based around if he could beat his guy one on one, is that a, a concern for you that that's kind of what it developed? Not into? when he's making shots like that. You know, at some point, you know, when you have a guy going like that, like he was, it's get good spacing and give him an opportunity to make a play. You know, obviously, if you know, do we want uh, that all the time? No. But I think he sensed that we weren't great and that he needed to step up. And that's what he did. And that's what good players do. It's what great players do. Unfortunately, tonight for us, he did that. Seemed like a, sort of a pick your poison for them. Uh, they decided to double team Malcolm in the first half. They had to shift that to Laurent in the second half. Do you need another guy to be the third head of a three headed monster in order to? Yeah, typically on most nights. Obviously, Hill uh, took a lot of shots tonight and shot a very, very high percentage and was efficient, was aggressive. I think he sensed that we, we needed him to do that. Uh, you know, but typically we've had, you know, we've had a bunch of guys on our stat sheet that average, I looked the other day, seven or more points per game. So we're pretty well balanced. Again, I think tonight was just kind of one of those deals where Malcolm kind of sensed it. Obviously, he started to, to get rolling. And then, uh, you know, it's our job to kind of put him, put him in position to continue to make plays. And, and he took advantage of that. You had uh, DeMonte here uh, tonight, and he was on one crutch. Do you have any more information than maybe not yesterday? Not yet, Scott. Uh, not yet. You know, obviously, he's got an MRI and X-ray coming up. It's great to see him tonight. Hopefully, lifted his spirits a little bit. You know, obviously, he wants to be out there playing, but you know, we got to do the right thing and figure out what's you know once he gets uh, 
you know, MRI, X-ray, all that stuff, we'll know a lot more.